Hello, so happy you could join me again on this beautiful day. Hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. What I got going on here is pre-stretched canvas 16 by 20. I used painter's tape, made a line across here, painted this portion with your regular spray paint you get from your hobby shops, in the green, and the top part in the blue. What I thought I'd do today is maybe put a big mountain here, maybe a, almost like a, maybe a pond or something coming down more on a green, green water look like the way they look. Maybe a mountain over here, maybe some birds, who knows, evergreen trees. I'd like to start off by thanking all my subscribers and all my viewers up to this point. I hope you keep watching because I'll keep making paintings as I go along and trying to give you a, and teach you new ideas and how to do things and, and maybe that'll help. So we'll get started. I took the canvas, I put a thin coat of liquid clear on right over the paint once it was dry. It'll help the oils to go on a lot smoother. And any colors and all the information you'll need will come across the screen right about here. So let's get started. I'm going to start out with this fan brush, just like that. Maybe you can see it better up there. I'm going to load some titanium white. Liquid white. Just load it up. Maybe we're going to put the skyline in. Just like that. Maybe we'll start out with some clouds. Normally I start in the corner. Today I'm going to start out somewhere in here. Just circular motions. Maybe this is a big, big cloud. You're going to see that the paint that we have on here The blue is automatically coming through on the fan brush with the colors. Even though it's on there, it's dry, but with the liquid white, it's pulling that off. And it's already giving you a different color. And all we're loading is white. Maybe since clouds have all kinds of things happening. Maybe this one comes right down here. Maybe, maybe like that. Load up some more white. Maybe down here. It's a little bit lighter. lighter clouds because in nature as you'll see it you'll see some of the white more brighter whites and then it you got almost like a gray gray cloudy look oh let's see You know, the clouds, they got all kinds of things going on. When you look up in the sky, you can see faces and all kinds of things. Maybe this has got some more white on it right there. It does now. Sure, world. You can make as few or as many clouds as you'd like. down harder now. Get some of that white off of there, off your brush. Maybe there's a bigger cloud out here in the distance. Who knows? 
all over the place. Adding some more white, liquid white, titanium white. Maybe we'll put one here. Right over the other one. And that's okay. the other one. Off in the distance. Off in the horizon. Now we're going to come into the blender brush. Take the corner of it and come in here and just tap this. Kind of blend it. Fuse it. Kind of give it that look of clouds in the sky. Wherever you think. I want to leave some white areas in there too. You don't want to take all that edge off right off the top. Because you'll find that in clouds. kinds of things. Just like that. Come back in and put some put some light in on the horizon here. Go right along that top. Normally the light is right across the whole sky, at least as much as you can see. Scraping right along it. Right along the edge. Come back in with the blender brush. Wipe off that one corner. Gotta pull up. white right on the fan brush. Pulling it up. Just like that I believe. Let's come back in. Blender brush. Pull up. I'm going to use just a corner. Maybe we'll make that the light source. But we'll pull off on the angles. Maybe where it's shining. Going up into the sky. All the way up into the clouds, just like that. Just the way you think it might look. Then go right across.
add some more white. Making it whiter right in the middle. Right along that edge. Underbrush. Pull up. Keep doing it until you get that lightness that you're looking for. The lightness or the brightness. <laughs> Gonna do the same thing, pulling it up. Come in here and I'm going to put a mountain, maybe some evergreen trees. I'm going to block this in have the pond down here. So, come into some green color, sap green. Right on the brush with the liquid white. Maybe, I think we'll start right here. Right by. Try to stay out of your way. Using the corner of the brush, just tapping. Maybe that comes down right, right in front of it. Right in front of that. Maybe there's a bigger one here. Maybe it's front in front of that one. So when it is, when it's in front, you just bring it down. Put it in front of it. Make it longer than the one behind it. that automatically puts it in front. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just tap in some areas. I'm going to fill this in, I think. tapping down. Gonna fill all this in back here. blend this bottom part in. Then we're going to put some trees in. Want to fill that in. Just taking a corner of the brush tapping it. 
tapping, tapping. Just like that. All the way down. Filling in. Going back and forth. Hope you can see that. Coming down with the straight. Just the corner of the brush. Pick up some more color. Just like that. Fill that in. More color. twigs and stuff in the back you might not see it might not be it might not be evergreen trees and not every tree is perfectly straight as it, as you'll notice in nature at the trees. Some are crooked, some are straight. Some are full. Some aren't so full. And some of the evergreen trees, when you look at them in the forest, some of them are just bare. Like they've just lost everything. Got that kind of look going on there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this brush off. Use an odorless paint thinner. I'm going to go into just the just the green, dark green. Sap green. I'm going to darken this up down here. Maybe it comes right along. Maybe we got some stuff happening in here. But I want to darken it up. Maybe there's some land here. It goes right out. Maybe we'll put some grass in there. Put some grassy areas in there. I'll take the blender brush again. Wipe off the excess and come in here and tap this. Pushing down. What's going to happen is it's going to make it. It's going to fill that in. And it's going to make it look that dark look of a lot of woods. A lot of woods back there. distance maybe there's maybe there's some stuff in the distance some of those trees are further off and we got some darker ones here in the front all I'm doing is tapping down
dark over here. I wanted to fill all that in. I'm going to fill it all in with stuff. said maybe put some grass in there. I'm going to make it a little darker so I'm going to put some midnight black. Midnight black and with the sap green. Darken it up. Make it a darker, a darker green yet. when you put the lighter colors in kind of makes it stand out a little bit more get some things happening because you got all kinds of different colors in nature different shades of green Pushes everything back that way. Hope you can see that as much as I can here. Sometimes it doesn't work out that way. Until after I'm done. And then I say, I wish I would have made it lighter after I watch the, watch the video. chiseled on the end. I'm going to get in some white and green. And come in and put some twigs and things happening in the distance. this brush just by tapping back and forth you can make evergreen trees in a distance and I'll show you it's just like that just take that and go back and forth just tapping it all the way across some water coming through here so I'm going to take this brush we've been using pour the water maybe get in some yellow maybe some yellow cleaning the brush off again just slightly some yellow cadmium yellow
cadmium yellow and sap green. Load it right up on the brush. Just like that. Oh, who knows? Let's come in here. Barely tapping where we might want the water, the sun to shine. All the way. Be darker right over here, right by the edge. Not so much in here. Maybe out here. Maybe all the way. Maybe we're going to put another hill over here. Maybe blacken some of this in. Who knows? blender brush we've been using for everything. Just gotta wipe, clean it off a little bit. And the paint thinner. I'm using paper towels. You can use whatever you have available. the excess and we're going to come in and blend it take the sharpness off sharpness off of that we're going to pull down here Maybe some reflection. Right where the trees would be reflecting into the water. Highlight it. Let it break off. Wiping that off. Pull 
that down. Give that sandy, rocky, beachy look. white now. Get a little roll of paint right off the edge right there. Come in and make a water line here. What I'm doing is going right across. chiseled edge. Maybe just have some branches and things coming out the corner here. Sticks and twigs and do is I'm going to highlight some of this in here with some yellow. Yellow. Yellow and white. And the two, the fan, the fan brush, just like that along the edge. Come in here and just tap this. Right where you might think there'd be some light hitting. Where the land comes down to the to the water. I just keep loading it up. Loading it up, getting the weights, making it lighter. Maybe it come right down over the over the water, over the edge. That kind of sets everything in that way. Makes it look like things are screwing over the edge instead of just having it real clean and sharp. Maybe this comes right down over the edge. Hangs over. Okay. Got that going on. I think what I'm going to do... White some white. Maybe put a rock right here. Right up, right in the water. Already got some white on there, already blended right in. Gotta get a little bit of white though, leaving it marbly. And highlight. Right where maybe some light's hitting.
grab some white little roll of paint make the water line like we did this short right by the boulder coming out from there or there could be there could be some branches everywhere it was a little island or something Sticks and twigs and who knows. Okay, what I think I'm going to do is fill this other side in. Browns and greens and darken it in just like that using a bigger brush oh who knows maybe maybe this who knows I'm gonna put it back here brush maybe that comes down right over there in front I'm trying to make it lighter so you can see it at home wherever you're viewing it from. It's a lot lighter here well, when I'm doing it. Maybe this one comes from here. 
here. And it goes back here. Fill all this in. Coming out in front of that one. I'm just filling this in. Maybe it's got a peninsula there. Tapping it all in. Almost to wear so much. If you can't tell. Fan brush again, some greens. and stuff happening. Filling it all in. I want to make it look like it's a really want it to look like it's a forest. All kinds of things happen. Almost to where you can't see to the other side. color. Gonna do some highlighting now. Maybe right there it's popping, right coming on from that light. goes back here it gets lesser and lesser come back into the palette knife and some browns whites let's make this be a little ledge here a little rocky rocky area. bit of white on there. Just tapping here and there. Just like maybe what we'd do with the mountains. A little bit 
more right on this edge here because I know that light is going to be popping that coming through. Now, take this blender brush, pull down. things were happening. Get some white. Make a little water line. Just tapping. Midnight Black Titanium White lighter colors. Pull some twigs and stuff here. Here and there. colors. I'm going to highlight this a little bit more in through here. Maybe where it's popping some.
right in there. It's really shimmering. Maybe right here. Maybe over here, I'll we'll put some flowers in. Maybe some yellow flowers. Maybe... Maybe we'll have something coming in here. Try that out. Loading the brush up. Want that yellow look. white I think 
to the middle white. Twisted, twisted. here, load up with some vineys. like that. Put some petals. Put some petals out there. Put them in front, behind, who knows.
brush over. got a completed painting here. I'm going to go down here into some yellows, maybe greens. I like signing my name. The lower corner. I like using my last name. Some people like to use their initials. I also put the year in, so you know what year, maybe you painted it and see your progression as you go, go along. But this is a little different. I wanted to try to make more of the mountains and see what we could do with that. I've been putting more flowers in my paintings also. Add a little different flavor to it. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you come back and I'll have more videos to come. And thank you so much for watching.